we need to find the first four partial sums and the nth partial sum, sum of the sequence a n equal to this will be square root of n minus square root of n plus 1 i think so because in the solution i can see a minus sign here but here it is i'll just confirm this okay so this will be a minus sign here we'll have a minus sign one two three four five six this will be question number seven the n equal to minus plus one okay so for these kind of questions what we do is that we first find um a1 then we find a2 then a3 a4 then we try to find a pattern in those uh, all the four terms or five terms which we have calculated then we finally conclude the result so here we need to find the find the first four partial sums the nth partial sum of the sequence so first four will have a1 this will be square root of one square root of one plus one one minus square root of two so this is a1 then we have a2 square root of two minus square root of two plus one this will be square root of two minus square root of three then we have a three yes a three will be three minus so three plus one and this will be let's just keep this in square root form only so this will be square root of three square root of four we have a four and square root of four minus square root of four plus one this will be square root of four minus now we need to find the sum this four term this will become one minus square two two minus square three three minus square four plus square Four square root of five. So we can see the sum is this will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. This this will get cancelled. This and this will get cancelled. It will be one minus square root of five. Given a two. Three plus and we can clearly see that for P N which is minus one and for the first four terms it will be or for the initial terms it will be nothing this we had square root of 5 5 we have four terms so we can write this 5 as 1 where n was number of terms
here some minus and plus signs are missing because there might be some print in the website but nothing to worry about because it's just a minor thing and it will be rectified before time or as soon as possible so apart from this um this way we can find the relations and series and sequence and just find the summation and general formulas for sum and subtraction and series so this is pretty much all for this question so this one is correct solution one Thank <laughs> you.